Hey everyone, I'm Terry G. Thanks a lot for stopping by. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel and take another second and hit that like button. You know what alcoholics are really good at? You know what we're really good at? And we're taught it all the time in recovery. You know what it is? It's helping other people. We become that, you know, help the newcomer. The newcomer is important. You know, help them out, set up tables, set up chairs, get active in recovery because it'll help you. And it does help us. Getting involved in recovery and helping other people helps us. It does. And you know why? The simple fact is it helps us get our mind off number one, and that's us. So helping other people does that naturally. You know, just like I'm juggling the snowball or making a video, it's helping me not think about myself. And, it, and that works for recovery because our best topic most of the time is ourselves. We overthink about ourselves all the time. But there's one, there's another side of the coin that alcoholics have a hard time with. And that is, the other side is asking for help for themselves. I've seen a lot of people in recovery are really great at service work, doing a lot of service work, you're doing all that kind of stuff and they're in the trenches and they're helping alcoholics and they're doing all this stuff and it's great. They're great at it. And I'm not taking anything away from that. I think we all should be involved. But what is your life like? You got one day sobriety or 10 years of sobriety? Are you able to receive the help that you so freely give to other people? Are you able to ask other people to help you when you're having a difficulty? Are you able to do that? A lot of people find that difficult. They find it easy to ask for help. I mean, not ask for help, to give out help or listen to people when they have difficulties. But for when it comes to themselves and they have something that they need help with, they find it hard. And we have to learn how to do that. Are we able to receive the help that we so freely give to other people? Is this things going on in my head that silly that I can't tell somebody? Is my marriage so bad that I'm afraid to tell somebody, talk about it because I'm embarrassed? Or is work going so crummy, I'm making, you know, should I complain? Because I'm always told to be grateful for the things I have in my life because it could be a lot worse. You know, is my sex life okay? Am I feeling normal about it? Am I feeling normal about being afraid all the time, you know, doing things in my life? Those kind of things, the things that we think about in our heads all the time that we're afraid to ask. Are we all right doing that? Because I'm gonna tell you something. No one is an island, nobody is. Doing life, doing recovery on our own is very difficult. And we can do it on our own. We can be in a full room of recovering alcoholics and still be doing it on our own. I'm not saying we have to talk about all our difficulties or tell all our problems to people or ask for help from everybody. But if you're suffering inside, and you're hiding it through actions and doing other things, quit doing that. Ask for some help. Get grounded in your recovery. Be honest with somebody. Find a sponsor, find a therapist, find a priest. Tell a good friend, somebody else. Ask for help. If your car breaks down, you call a tow truck for help, that's easy. So if you're not feeling so well inside, ask for some help. Go over to somebody and bend their ear for a while. Because alcoholics sometimes find that part of recovery very difficult, especially if you have long-term recovery. You know, if you got 20, 30, 10 years, you think you should have it made recovery. Well, it's not, life is not like that. The world is a lot easier to carry with many hands and trying to carry the world on our shoulders by ourselves. We can take that world, we can take that burden and help and give it somebody else to help us out with it. So are you like that? Do you find it easy to ask for help? Do you find it easy to be honest with somebody and reach out? If you don't, find somebody to do that. It'll make your life a lot better. It'll help them too, but it'll make your life better. Because for myself, I had to find somebody that I could trust and talk to about the silly things in life that I thought were could be silly saying it, kind of like immature and silly, but I would say it anyways and I'd feel better. And my sponsor, he's been my sponsor for 25 years now, he's never thought what I said would to be silly. He's listened to it, identified with it, or just told me, forget about it, whatever, you know, just whatever. But that's all this video is about. It's about receiving help. Are we open-minded enough 
to take what we give away. Can we do that? Can we ask people for help when we're in need? If you can do that, that is fantastic. That is fantastic because it works both ways. Recovery works both ways. It really does, okay? We can take and we can give. That's what we can do, okay? So that's it, folks. Thanks a lot for stopping by. My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. You can take a second, leave a comment below, subscribe to my channel, take another second and hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it, okay? It's great being sober. You can build a life of recovery and all those dreams that you thought were never gonna come through and all those bridges that were burned, they will be rebuilt stronger, better, long lasting. They really, really will. Just get sober, take it one day at a time, be good to yourself, be gentle on yourself, and you'll see your dreams have come true. They really, really will, they will, okay? So that's the end of the video. God bless, stay sober, one day at a time. I'll see you next week. There's no I in team, we need each other. And ciao for now, bye-bye.